this is a video on the components of my outdoor weather lab lint from Lego. Let's start off with the rain gauge. Now this is a small rain gauge I made with a mechanical emptying system. You turn this knob and it goes through a series of gears to, to empty the bucket. And then it has some durable stoppers so you can just let go. Now, I made this purposely long gear train because this will be. Now, this has a three rotations to one. Now, the reason it stops you from going that way is because I put tape over here for the for the um, measuring stick. I'm actually sure you can just bypass it and just. This. Yeah. Now, since it's a quite violent buddy. Next is the absolutely massive wind vane. Here's the size comparison. <laughs> Look how big that is. I mean, this uses a giant base plate as the as the vane, and an arrow that's very hefty and thick with a rock to to balance it out. Now this has been serviced outside before for merit badge. And I put this wheel on here just for momentum purposes, nothing else. It's on an improved Lego tower. This one is is um at least is four fifth one by fifteen lift arms tall. And then it's got some of these from my Vesta's wind turbine that I destroyed. And this thing does spin. Now I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna blow on it because that's just nearly impossible. And lastly is the the only one on YouTube there's plenty more. But this one's the only one on YouTube is the Lego Animometer. This thing is quite big. Here's the little thing for size. Now this one uses plastic cups I drill to hold into. You get the deal. And attached to these L brackets right here. And you use one by three lift arms to hold them in place. I did eventually tend to use my Dremel, but that was just too weak. My little micro engraver. And this has a flywheel because say if it's spinning, you know, it slows down, but the wind picks up again, this will still have inertia in it. And these is like these cups to, you know, scoop the wind. I'll test with my, 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 my mouth. In fact, hold on. I don't know where I can put you. I just fan it with a lid. Yeah, you see?
video. It just does very poorly with that thing that I'm using. Now, these are non-lubricated axles, so basically it'll be drilling in, drilling a hole. And that one actually did with its with its pace. If I can find it over here, this hell of a mess. It had a a one by seven lift arm, and it kind of drilled a hole into it. This one, no. I, don't know, I probably won't find it. And that is the outdoor weather lab. Yes, this will be going outside. I've already done my weather and merit badge. Or done that recording sheet, but I have to be like, hell, why not make something now? For this to work, I have to get like an RPM meter. And then somehow record. Rep um, convert it to miles an hour. But I could very easily get one of those wind meters and and make like a little thing that would transfer rotation off from rotation from this to the meter. And just kind of put a shroud over it. Oh, I cracked. I sure did. I could, but I don't have one. And I was thinking if I just... If I ever get a, an RPM gun, I could put a piece of reflective tape on, tape on here. And measure it, and then convert that to miles an hour. Yeah. And that's about it for this video. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed See you guys next time. One more look at this giant setup.